Hey gamers, I am the Bad Luck Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about character stereotypes. Now, I know a lot of my videos recently have been more centered towards the GMs. The GMs have a really hard time. They have to literally make a game for the players. But the players are the ones who actually make the game. They're the people who, you know, the story is about, and that's why the players are super important. The GMs just have a tougher time, and that's why I like to focus my videos upon them. So, today, I want to talk about some GM stereotypes, and I'm sorry if my hair is kind of, like, messy and not super good looking. I've been sick. I started feeling sick yesterday, and I'm just kind of chilling home today. Uh, and I'm sorry about my videos recently. I don't know. I, it's just, I get into a groove of making videos, and I make videos every day, and then I fall out of that groove. It just kind of happens. But today, I want to talk about the character stereotypes. Now, character stereotypes, and you have to understand where they come from, is like the overly anal, intelligent wizard who's all focused about books and is kind of a bit of a pansy, versus the barbarian who's very dim-witted, low intelligence, but he has massive strength. He solves things by breaking them, you know. So... These stereotypes come from the way the character statistics work, and that's not a bad thing. You just gotta understand that as the, if you go too deep into a stereotype, you make a cliche character who's not interesting. <clears throat> but if you try to break your stereotype, you end up breaking the character, and then your stats don't work. If you try to make a charismatic wizard, for instance, who doesn't have a super high intelligence, but he's more of a fighter... He's just not going to do wizard stuff as well as other wizards, and he's not going to do fighter stuff as well as other fighters. This kind of, I, I kind of touched upon this in hybrid characters. So you just got to understand the role of your, your character, and you got to make your, you got to have your character make sense. And the same thing works, you know, for a lot of different games and a lot of different character types. So what, one of the ways is to understand what the stereotype is. Wizards are gain their power through knowledge they have to be intelligent in order to cast spells and they're like scientists they're like magical scientists and a scientist doesn't go get go around just knowing about you know the functions of mitochondria inside of a frog or anything like that they have to study it and they have to talk with their peers and they have to take time to do so that's what's great about wizards though is that they're super dedicated to their field barbarians are very very survival based they have to live in tough environments and they have to fight large creatures just to survive so intel stats like intelligence they don't in would invest in because that's not important to them that's not how their way of life works <clears throat> sorry i'm still a little sick so with that in mind you gotta keep it you have to think how does your character how can you make your character more unique to yourself within the role now it can, it, there's a lot of different variations. Now, wizards are hard because there's the sorcerer class and they're very close to wizards, but they're more like, I think it, and it happens. And that's more my style of magic in the first place, but wizards shouldn't be written off just because of that. Wizards are very interesting in themselves because of their dedication. But you have to make your character unique. On the barbarian side, for instance... Maybe you're a, a sand tribe, you know, maybe you're a barbarian of the desert who fought desert creatures and learned how to survive on the water. Make your character interesting by creating a story based on how they were barbarian or how they were warring or how they were archery. Yeah, I don't know. That's not a word. <laughs> how they were an archer. I don't know. So focus on the kind of theme of your character and then make it unique to yourself. Some good examples is there's a warrior. Warriors are very frontline fighters and everything like that. And warriors are kind of the more dynamic of the fighter classes when it comes to games like Pathfinder, D&D, other things like that. And even in other games, they're just because they can do different things. They can be very weapon and fighting finesse, or they can be very tanky and very uh, armor or cavalry based. So you just got to kind of pick your subject. Now, a warrior can be intelligent like a strategist, and that's why I kind of been focusing on wizard and barbarian because they're more specified. But even with a warrior, like, they're very fight. They're all about fighting. And maybe your character, you know, was an ex-teacher. He is an ex, you know, martial, you know, 
a training teacher. He was an ex. He's a veteran turned into a teacher turned into a hero. You know of some sort. That's interesting, and that makes your character unique, and that keeps his theme of being about combat focused on the character but it's a different way of looking at it he's not an upstart warrior he's not anything else he's been through the ring he's been through the ringer he's done everything and now he's an adventurer for whatever reason on like a wizard for instance a wizards are very focused on knowledge but that's not a bad thing just focus on types of different types of knowledge make your character focus on one particular point now one of the best things about wizards is that they have more points in intelligence so they have more skill points to use in most games so there's nothing wrong with that but make it so that you're not a character who's just like well i just know everything because i'm I'm a wizard and I read all these books. That's good and that's focused on their area of knowledge, but you have to do it in a way that makes your character more unique and less annoying to everyone else because your character is like a know-it-all. Now, playing a super know-it-all type character and doing it well is not a bad thing either. Let me keep that in mind. But I'm talking about in general. Wizards don't need to be know-it-alls. They can be very wise. They can be very, like... the. Wizards can be more teacher-esque where they don't give people the answers. They give people the tools to find the answers themselves and other things like that. Gandalf was a very interesting character who was a wizard because he would come and go in the adventures as he pleased. He was very wise. He did try and he did try to do things like wizards would do, but he also would leave things for other people to do. He would try to bring out the better part of other people as adventures. And that's some that's, you know, very unique to himself. Now, focusing more along the lines of like a standard wizard, they were you gotta understand you gotta think, and this is I think what a lot of wizards don't do. Why did your wizard leave whatever sanctum he was at to become an adventurer? You know, what made it, what provoked him to be a adventurer? Maybe your wizard is more focused on making a compendium of monsters, like a monster manual for adventures, you know, and a very ironic twist. Now, for barbarians, barbarians are very survival based. So make a barbarian who's very survival based on, in particular environments. You know, maybe your barbarian was a tribe leader, and so he takes more skills based on assisting other people and helping him complete tasks. Maybe he was more of a monster hunter, a prime hunter who went out and focused on taking the biggest, baddest monster down to feed his group of people. You know, maybe your barbarian was the prime hunter and he was also an expert cook and he can cook really well. That would be super interesting. You got to take your stereotypes for your characters and you got to make them... A part of the character because they make sense, but also make yourself specialized within the stereotype. Wizards are about knowledge. Make your wizard knowledge unique to your character and so on and so forth. Don't steer away from stereotypes. They're important because they help define the class, but make it so that your character is a unique member within the class. It's like gaming. It's like playing video games. I've been playing a lot of games recently. I've been playing a lot of Dota recently, you know, and Everyone has the same pool of champions. Everyone has the same kind of skills. There's different kinds of builds, but when you kind of tweak it down to the pure meta, it doesn't work in certain... A lot of items just don't work for that character, and you have to build certain items at a certain time. So how you make yourself stand out from the crowd is by doing skillful things, you know? Making good anticipation, making good uh, guesses, making great plays. That's how people get good at games, and that's how people get recognize in their community and the same thing applies for role-playing games all right gamers so ciao for now i hope you guys have good luck with making your characters if you have any questions or tips please leave a message in the comments below i'm so excited i got a message the other day on one of my videos like the first one in a long long time and i'm super happy because it helped because it means that someone was watching and someone took the time to type it out and i really thank you if you're watching this video now i don't want to give names because some people some people want their privacy but thank you so much because that helps me people who leave likes thank you so much for people who've been leaving me likes i really appreciate it and it's been really helpful to me if you leave a dislike even it's really helpful to me so please communicate with me because i want to communicate with you guys all right gamers 
Ciao for now.